Hi there, it's Tony Buck again. I'm down in the basement and I'm looking at winter food storage. Here's a um, butternut squash from 2011 and today is July 5th, 2012. So that's kept very nicely all year. How about that? Just in the basement, no, nothing special, no freezing, nothing. But guess what? Look at this. 2010. I know I've written it on there. This has kept for two years, right? Now look, the squirrel tried to eat it. See that? I kept that just to spite the squirrel because they, they take a nibble out of it. They never eat the things, as you know. So that's 2,000 ton of butternut squash, two years. Now on the packet, it says they'll keep for six weeks in your basement. But actually, just showed you. Nothing special. I usually grow about 25 of these and I put them in the basement. And look, here's, here's where I keep them. Of course, in the old days, people who didn't have cellars or basements, they dug a deep hole in the ground, about three feet deep, and they put the stuff at the bottom of the hole. Keep a little air running around them. There's two small ones left, right there, and it's July, and I'm about to plant my 2012 winter supply. Here's my, uh, here's my trays, and the reason I'm planting them in, in July, think of it, July... August, September. It's 90 days to m maturation. I don't really want them to mature long before. Push them, in, push them in there about half an inch. See that? Here's the seed. My uh, my mix is is um, ten, twenty percent vermiculite, twenty percent peat moss, and uh, sixty percent my own compost, which if you know. In my other video, you'll see a solar soil sterilizer where I sterilize my compost so it doesn't have any weed seeds in it. So here I am, laying them up in early July. I'll put them out in the garden in a couple of weeks, and I'll get some great plants. Here they are in the garden last year. I've covered them with my cages, with um, chicken wire, one inch vinyl pipe, because I've got um, a small uh, garden here in a rural city. So the squirrels, they, oh, let's all go down to Buck's place and, uh, you know, eat some of his produce. And then, uh, here we are. I'm just going to water these in. You know, just get it nice and wet, just to start off with. You know one of the secrets I found? By only growing these this big, say my fist plus like that I like to think of it like that I can cut this in half and split it open and make um, two meals for myself put a stir fry cut, scoop out the seeds put a stir fry on each one I found if I grow them bigger than this I don't eat them I leave them in the basement I look at this massive thing and I think oh it's just me you know I can't eat that but when I keep I pick them small like this so that they just make two meals for me and then I found I was using them 20 to 25 a year I use so you can store food in your basement you can store potatoes apples carrots without freezing just on a shelf in a nice airy place and uh, good luck with everything